migration unit, um, what you'll find is that it's quite a quick unit to talk through, um, but there is a lot of information here. Uh, it's all about using the theory. This one in particular, it's all about case studies. Like the more case studies and examples you have, the easier it will be to write about it, to think about it. So we'll go through first the theory of migration and then look at internal and then international migration and uh, have a look at a few case studies then. Right now, this is a massive topic all around the world as migration is drastically increasing. So there should be some sort of impacts on migration in your area, or you might actually have migrated yourself. So let's have a look and see. Essential vocabulary then, migration, the movement of someone from one place to another um, for residency to move full time. So you can include like holidays, for example. The destination is the place a migrant is going to. The origin is where they're coming from. Immigration is the word to describe people coming into the country. Emigration is the word to describe people leaving the country. Net migration then is the amount of immigrants minus the immigrants coming and going to one country. So yeah, you could have a positive of people coming in um, versus the people leaving and that will increase your population. Internal migration then is migration of person in, inside the country. So we could be talking about from like a rural area to an urban area. International migration then to another country. So we see that then the different types, how we would describe it. We've got forced migration, um, which is that people are displaced forcefully. So we're thinking war, famine, prosecution that forces people to leave. Uh, there could also be something else like natural disasters. Um, and yeah, then we see voluntary migration. So people moving off their own free will. So right now in the world, they're the two main ones. Voluntary migration would be things like uh, for economic reasons and forced migration uh, right now is often due to wars and uh, prosecution. So we have migration stream when there's a lot of people coming from one destination or, one, or sorry, coming from one origin. Uh, and they're generally drifting towards the same destination. This creates a general migration stream. And a counter stream then is when people who had left are returning back to their place of origin. Um, or the connection between the two places means that people from the destination would like to move to the origin of the stream. Urbanization then is the growth of the population living in an urban area. And counter urbanization is the growth of the people living outside of it. So urbanization would indicate to us that the population could be growing in the urban area, but a lot of people are migrating into the urban space. Whereas counting urbanization is showing lots of people migrating out of the urban space. We often talk about migration, two things that will consistently come up are push factors and pull factors. So push factors are reasons for people to leave the origin. What's going on in the origin? So if we just look at economic examples there, unemployment, low wages, economic crash, cost of living is too high. So all of these things are negatives about the origin, right? So we haven't even talked about what the destination would offer, right? So a push factor from an origin would be low wages. So then a pull factor for a destination could be higher pay or higher wages, right? So you see, it's the same thing. So we wouldn't say that a push factor was that the destination has higher wages. No, that would be described as a pull factor. So that's something that's commonly kind of mixed up because you're talking about the same thing. Basically, they're looking for uh, more income, right? Um, but how you describe it then is quite important. So just be careful with that one because questions might come up and actually reference push and pull factors explicitly and you've got to actually reference them properly. So push factors is a focus on what's pushing people out of the origin, right? Not, not what's attracting people to the destination. Social then we can see poor school system, discrimination, poor medical or di disability facilities and corrupt political structure. So those can be along the lines of voluntary or involuntary. For example, um, a poor school system might mean that they have a school system. So if you're moving to another one, then uh, yeah, you might want to just improve your standards of living and it could be completely voluntary. Whereas discrimination or political issues then could be something that's a bit more extreme where people are forced to move out um, and feel impelled then. Environmental. 
Okay, guys, if you like, please subscribe and let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope that helped. If you want to continue learning, the rest of the course is below in our link. Um, you can sign up and learn there through all these videos. There's over 10 hours of videos of the content. Um, and this teaches you everything about the case studies, the concepts in each section, and you can just take it at your own pace. Um, within each course, then you'll get a PDF printout, some short questions and a video.